Hello, it's Wolf here and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2 Tactical Legacy Pack where I'm going to the fifth mission in the Blast from the Past Operation. So I'm playing this for the first time, so this is a blind playthrough. We have our six soldiers here and they are gaining nice gear and nice abilities. So let's go see what we are facing next. And uh, we are halfway to our goal. I'm confident in the silver. Uh, I have missed some... Uh, early birds and civilians and such, so I'm not sure if I can hit the gold, but uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. The police station was the last major landmark on the edge of town. Map aside, we knew people had flocked to police stations, army barracks, any place they thought might protect them from the aliens. A lot of people made their last stands in those places, and I wasn't looking forward to walking in on a massacre. Still, we had to know for sure. As we got closer, it was clear the aliens had already set up inside the station. Between Advent and the usual suspects, the entire place was crawling with hostiles. Whoever tried to hole up inside had definitely put up a fight. There were still fresh plasma burns smoldering when we got there. Alright. Uh, a lot of points to Kane. Uh, 13 civilians and we need to save six uh, a lot of points from the objective a lot of a lot of points from the kills so that either means a lot of enemies or a lot of really tough enemies either way the missions are getting tougher and uh, if you for some reason uh, dropped into this one as your first video of the series I am playing on the nightmare difficulty which is the harder of the two difficulties available Okay, so we need to get into the building. Uh, I see civilians inside. I see civilians there. I don't see civilians outside. So I think I'm heading towards that hole. Maybe scanning as I go forward. We do have all kinds of tools now with rockets, with... Uh, with... Uh, with the shredder gun, we have. Um, well, we still have the skull jack, which I haven't used, but we have uh, spider suits on two of our guys. Still the mimic beacon, but the spider suit does give me free movements when we get to a possible possible locations where to use that. We have kill zone, we have the battle scanner, and things like that. So I think what I will do is. Um, I don't like this car. You you guys don't do know me like XCOM. Whenever you see cars that have not exploded already, you want to stay away from them. But uh, is confirmed. On the move. let's uh, let's go with this one this time, and uh, let's scan this building right away. Let's see uh, if any one of these are facelesses, and uh, are we facing something else here than facelesses? Holy shit! That's a lot of. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> and there's... There was one faceless as well. Okay. Uh... Okay. Uh... I don't know how many groups that is. I'm guessing... Guessing three? But there's Mech Mech, Purifier Purifier, there's um, uh, Officer, Lancer, Trooper, and on top we have uh, Officer, Trooper, Purifier. Uh, okay. I'm kind of good that I know what I'm facing, and also this would be the mother of all grenades. But can I can I handle that many enemies? And can I find some sort of angle where I wouldn't trigger the enemies and, and be close enough to throw a grenade? No, they have made it in a way that you can't, and they will start moving. Okay, but faceless we have to take care of now. Uh, ok, 
Okay, these guys who are on the top, they... I think this guy might see through the window, so I'm kind of avoiding this side here. I'm not sure, but kind of this guy here worries me a little bit. Uh, this guy here probably sees like up to... Right, I, I can't see the target preview on the scanned ones, but uh, from uh, where we can run, we, uh, we uh, cannot activate these guys yet. But overwatch on those guys would be brilliant, as they start to go and try to kill the civilians. Uh, I think I do have to go on this side in order to shoot uh, Faceless. And I think I will do it with... Uh, actually, can you see it from here? Yeah, just getting more guys on this car. Yeah. Now... I'm trusting you here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Alright, we do have Plasmas now. Well, that is brilliant. That uh, probably helps me, helps me to leave some guys on Overwatch. And you have covering fire, so you you should Overwatch just in case we get some uh, action Jackson like that. Yeah, this shouldn't activate anyone unless there's group up there and there's not. So uh, let's just kill this faceless now. We do a lot of damage with these plasmas, which is great. Of course, the early early bird bonuses from this one is great. But then... I'm just heading towards this hole, hoping to catch one of those guys when they are moving forward. For those overwatches. Did we get hair trigger? I think we get hair triggered on this. Since, uh, on uh, Bradford, I just uh, missed that. You can do multiple moves. You can do stasis and a move if you stay in one place. What's over there? So let's place you there. That was a little bit risky, but uh, it looks like the enemies are inside. So let's uh, let's hope we catch something good here. Uh, actually, let me see. I have a uh, okay. That's uh, that's an option, but uh, that's that spread uh, spreads us out too much. Moving to Overwatch. In Guardia. I'm on it. Any overwatch damage here and activating only one group would be the ideal thing, but I don't think that will happen. Yeah, I think these guys are coming to say hello. Yes. Okay. Sadly, we missed the first shots. Have to remember the hacking option as well. They are leaving. Oh, that killing that purifier is not great. I'll get him next time. Yeah, that killed a civilian. That's it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that guy is staying still. Oh my god, they are oh wow, okay, good. Civilian's turn is after those guys, interesting. I was about to say that that guy is... Uh... Whoa, 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 wait, what? Oh, right, those civilians moved because they were scared. Okay, this is this is horrible turn right now, coming ahead on us. No overwatches. Wow, and it's not even over yet. station was overrun with advent troops yeah it is and they weren't taking any prisoners seeing what they had done to the station knowing there had been people in there if we were angry before now we were motivated one mech run like in here and i can't even see it wow we are in so much trouble uh i don't think this group is active so basically, these four and ac are active, and then uh, Mech Mech Purifier. We already lost one civilian. We haven't rescued a single one. 
This is incredible, it's off mission. I wonder if I can retry if I just fail. Or does the does the does the operation branch out if you fail? Well, but we will we will not go with that we will not go with that mindset that we are about to lose. At least the Overwatch, the civilian helped us a little bit with that guy. Uh, with the shredder gun. Shredder gun does remove some. Uh, then uh, now, of course, this is uh, well. Actually, it will it will trigger that group that we haven't activated, so that's not an option. Uh, flashbangs do make the lancers not be able to use their lances. Things like that. We have like seven enemies to deal with. All very dangerous. Uh, we do have the kill zone. Kill zone with you. Could that, could that possibly shoot from here? Okay. Hmm. This this is very 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 tough turn. I think I. I don't think this wall gets removed. And nor this pillar. So. I think I need to flank these guys to deal with them. Uh, where's the... No, but you, you have remote hacking, but you can't, you can't hack. Yeah, because you are not, uh, you are not the offensive support. We do have the EMP grenade, but um, yeah, this will be this will be pretty bad. Even with mimic beacon, so you do have a shredder gunner. So you could do stasis and uh, stasis and shredder. Not bad. Remove the armors of those guys. Although we have enough damage to deal with them. Uh, but do I want to stay this? Uh... The shield bearer is absolutely horrible here. So it's actually not a bad eye, but I would also just kill it and uh, maybe. Maybe stays someone else. Can I do that? Will I activate more guys if I go? Yeah, I'm, I'm placing myself in a bad spot. Flashbang. Just flashing, flashbang. Well, I guess the shield bearer doesn't do the shields if I flashbang them. And also, the flashbang. Doesn't hit that well there, and now uh, you're proactive. You are throwing the mimic beacon anyway. These guys might come forward, even that we uh, we see the mech already. Should I have moved here? I'm thinking that was the, was it a mistake to come towards this hole? Anyway, this uh, it's the rocket launcher and the grenades. You have the double grenades. I'm thinking I will I will uh, trigger trigger those guys as well if I go here. I think well, there's a mind control option with the insanity, but it's not guaranteed. 
And uh, do we have anything that doesn't end the turn? We do have the grapple, but that's about it. Okay, so Mimic Beacon it is. Will you move somewhere to do that? And we aid protocol. Someone in a position where they could eat a shot. Eat a shot and uh, Mimic Beacon. I think that's the closest I can get to uh, without these guys seeing me. Okay, they actually disappeared now. They were for some reason... But... Uh, from the scanner still showing from the previous turn. Uh, okay, I can't... Uh, I can't throw Mim Mim Mimic Beacon in a way that everyone will... Be interested in it. So I think uh, I will do Mimic Beacon for these guys. For this one, the other mech and the purifier. So I think a Mimic Beacon... I think the other guy was standing... There's a window there so they will see it. So I will just throw it... Let's throw it there. Hopefully this doesn't activate additional groups, which it actually might, but... Okay, so then... Um, grenading in there and... Um, Grenading in there, and uh, now I'm getting more and more worried about this car as well. Okay, I will take a risk hey. here that this activates the, the group inside. Uh, I think I just... Uh, I think I just did my own uh, death sentence, even that they... Even that they piled up completely completely in a dumb way, but um, but yeah, I think, I think we, are, we are in deep, deep trouble. Uh, I don't even know how many enemies there are. The purifier exploding might help us as well, this is crazy. I wish I had the flashbang option now, but yeah, this will this will be uh, possibly just a retry. Possibly just retry here. Oh! Well, that's one way to do it. With uh, Purifier dying to the grenade. Oh, right, they are plasma grenades now. So, we killed, killed the Purifier and the explosion killed this guy and these guys were damaged. Okay, that's actually pretty good. There's still, like, a ton of them, but that was still pretty good. Especially because the Shredder... Shredder can kill though. Okay, Shredder actually removes the cover we are in, which is not great. Uh, so maybe it's Stasis and something else. Okay, let's, uh, let's think about this. The Mimic Beacon is eating some shots, but uh, there's so many of them that it's just not gonna do anything. So, should I still go forward and try to EMP the mechs? Kill zone. Kill zone does things, but um, it's not like a, it's not like a lifesaver. Another grenade would kill guys in there. Then an officer trooper. How big is the how big is the EMP? It's not big enough because I think the other mech went like a. All the way in here, so I can't touch them both. Stasis and then kill one of them with uh, with soul fire. Or try insanity and hopefully get someone in my control. I think the stasis on the shield bearer is the play anyway because. It Oh, but you can't see it. You have to see who you do it on. Oh, so then I can't do two moves. Can someone kill the shield bear? Fuck. 
four to five. Still don't know, but did I do critical damage on the <laughs> on the grenade? Or what? No, I I have the volatile mix. The other grenadiers grenades do more damage. That's that's what's happened. Yeah, but that's four to seven. There's a tiny little bit of chance that uh, shield bearer would die to that. Is that my play? Rockets away. Oh, it killed the officer. Maybe no. I think the officer went in, went invisible or something. You are quite exposed. We are all exposed. This is uh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Uh, six to nine. So you could go forward and just kill those guys. Or if I just. Uh, Make those guys stand in no cover. If if only it was like that the half of this cover would be removed and they would still be behind that rock. Or that you would stand here behind the tree. Then uh, I could do stasis and kill these two, which would be actually an incredible turn. The shield bearer is still up and that's, that's a no-go. Kill zone here is uh, is a possibility, but I think the the shield bearer will just do shield bearer things. So what I will have to do is uh, can I go here and uh, will it be long enough? I think it's well. Okay, I'll go. More even more enemies now. Okay. Whoa, really? I can't hit both of these guys? Ooh. Well, I did know that the cone is... Okay, fuck. Okay, can I, can I hit all of these guys? No. I could kill those guys and that could be... Actually pretty good, then I would just leave this guy up. So then that leaves you in killing. Shield bear. If you go do it there, you are exposed. If you go here, you can't see him. If you go here, you, if you go there, you are exposed. If you go here, you can't see him really. Wow. Okay, that's uh, that's unlucky. And yeah, your your move is. Probably kill zone in here. If I could kill those guys with a shredder. Mm. I do want to stand in some sort of cover, but if I go here. Really? Is that too far away? I think it's too far away. You see him from here, but not here. Jeez, it's one tile. And from here you can't... It's just, just in positions where I can't take cover and shoot them. Uh, I think this is my move here anyway. You're too close. Just to remove as many enemies as possible. Whoa, you created with the shredder. Okay, okay. 
Oh. <laughs> was that a priest or another shield bear? It was a priest. Okay, even a bit the mimic peak, and this is now what? I think we just got all the enemies in here. Okay, but the shield bearer has to die. Shield bearer has to die, and it doesn't really matter where I go. You just, you just have to go and kill the shield bearer, and that's it. And now uh, every every enemy on the map is already active, so this is it. <laughs> this is it, boys. Uh, I, I'm I can I can sense a 88 missing here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't save us. But uh, okay, who will go for the mimic beacon first? Oh my god! Those guys don't necessarily move. I think that's still better because there's more of them there. Oh wow. Yeah, we are we are so dead. We're so dead. Well that's one less. Two two Enemy more destroyed. two more shots with the kills on. There's the mech that will come and finish the kill finish the beacon. Bacon I mean, sorry. Oh wow, only two actions, oh no, oh no, can it be, oh ho 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 ho, that's a good start, that's a good start, this is nuts, oh that, okay that's fine, that's, mm, well that's, yeah that will hurt, oh that will hurt a lot because that will remove the cover now. Yeah, as the the thing is that if we if we don't die here, that's the ideal situation. I don't mind that. That will of course give me one less action next turn, which is which is terrible. The kill zone is not triggering at all. Yeah, come close. Thank you. Actually, it was good that the kill zone didn't trigger to that that lancer. <laughs> Brilliant! Brilliant! I I only did this to. The police were in no position to fight a war, much less an alien invasion. Don't get me wrong, a lot of them tried, but most of them didn't live long enough to do any real damage. The situation here was a little different, though. There were a lot of dead aliens piled up. More than usual, anyway. Okay, so here, here's the thing. We got two wounded soldiers, but uh, that was more or less the perfect turn. The perfect turn, because uh, this one missed, first of all. That was a lucky one. It could have critted and do like a 10... Like a lot of damage. Because it did a 9 on the bacon, with just one, uh, one hit. But the uh, fact that uh, the kill zone didn't trigger on the Lancer and then uh, the Lancer, <laughs> Lancer chose to attack the only person where uh, we, we have a free kill, that was just too good. Okay, but now we have flashbangs. Flashbangs, the guys are up. Uh, now it's just a matter of thinking how we do this. Um, I think there's still a mech in here, but I'm not sure. Did I like did I miss something? And so someone r was r running there, but we missed him. So basically, we have this one, and, and um, I don't know if the stasis goes away if the priest dies. I don't remember how that works. But I think what I will do with you is um, do a soul fire here, guaranteed kill, and uh, put stasis on someone. 
I think we could even stasis. No, can I can I stasis? Uh, I can stasis a mech. Okay, so let's see. It will be two actions from you. Can I do some grapple action? That would help. That does potentially help. And then uh, we could flashbang. This would put you in a. No, oh, let's let's wait with that. Uh, your chances are still like in here, where you don't see anyone, so you're probably not gonna move. Uh, can you do any two actions? What's the... No, you still uh, but you have a... You have heavy ordinance, which does more damage. None of them is on Overwatch, which is good. That was, oh, that was okay turn. This is a pretty badass team. It was completely disastrous. <laughs> disastrous turn, but it was also kind of cool. Um, especially with end result being just a couple of my guys taking a tiny little bit damage. Uh, we can chain shots, which will probably kill the mech. Uh, heavy... Volatile mix in here. Ooh, gonna be. Ooh, that's a good action. Yeah, that is a great action. Yeah, let's just take cover here. Yeah, I think we activated everyone on the first turn. Classic, classic Zemolov, if you ask me. Yeah, that's that's your action. So I think we get the stasis away if I kill the priest. Some sort of death from above somewhere. Like getting getting there would be great, but I don't think I. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm in a position where I can't take that. Okay. Uh, now we have option to soul fire. Okay, but the stasis has to come first because that doesn't end the turn. So we have option to soul fire the priest. Stasis. Let's try. Do we just kill the mech with you? Can you? Can you get? Uh, can you see the mech? Uh, is that oh, sorry. The mech is in a position where we can't get. Uh, but if you, but you can't get there. I'm thinking about the death from above, of course. I think your shot is to shoot someone. You would kill the mech if you hit it. And then you could shoot someone else. Let's spread out Did here a bit. So. You have armor as well, so you can take... Okay, there's the other mech. Yeah, that could... No, but I can't. I can't see that for the stasis. I have to see them. So those are my stasis options. I think I will just stasis this trooper. Even that this trooper is Protected. probably the least dangerous. Uh, the others I can kill, and then we can just ignore this one, and we have one less damage to worry about. And then I soul fire the priest, which should free. This may be should free our supports and give us an uh, extra hand. Oh, but they go to stasis. Damn priests. Damn priests. I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, we still have the flashbang. Good. 
Yeah, I, I think we are. I think we are taking some damage anyway. Should I? Should I kill this guy? Guaranteed. Or should I flash ban? It would remove the grenades and such, but I think it, because it doesn't. Uh, I think this is a way to remove an uh, enemy from the game. And right, I actually I should have thought about the positioning for the blade master. But in theory, this guy could no. I don't probably not. Probably not. Okay. Uh, elite trooper or the mech? The mech is the more dangerous one. Only 72%, sadly, but uh, okay, that probably forces me to shoot. Shoot with you, and then we have a trooper who will do trooper things. Mm. Yeah, I think we just have to kill kill the close by mech. We will be quite hurt on this upcoming turn, sadly. Not like you being next to him. Um, if this guy does the, the mechs do the rocket things, but we are quite spread out, so it's better. Uh, that, was, that was not a good turn. Not a good turn. I think I could have done better choices with my targets, but uh, no undoes. No undoes. Is that a faceless? Okay, it's... I don't think it gets a turn. Did it get faceless because it was burning? Yeah, I think... I think she's in trouble after the stasis is ended. Yeah, this will hurt like a mother trucker. Okay, kill civilian, thanks. Can we still save six? I, don't, I wasn't looking at that. Oh, this will hurt. I wish I had a... What is that? Oh, it boosts the faceless. I don't know what that does. Holy warrior. Scary. This will hurt as well. Ooh, she's the luckiest there is. Oh, she should be dead many times over. Get this to minus thousand. Someone had gotten trigger happy with a whole bunch of plasma grenades. Which side was responsible wasn't clear. But someone had torn this place up, and it looked like everyone involved paid the price. Ooh. Okay, let's let's start with the free reload. That's an easy choice. Oh, wow. Okay, that's an interesting option. You know what, we will we will take that option. That option with... Uh, with bonuses. Do I want to move you first? I would like them to shoot you. What's over there? Excellent. Before I do that, let me just check that can you do it with uh, no that's a lesser lesser radius. Okay, so that's your move. Let's start with that because that removes the walls and uh, possibly even kills the mechs because of this uh, extra damage from that one. Grenade. This is a cool mission, very hard, but uh, and I completely messed up the beginning. You are not burning yet, and I think you will somehow 
will somehow run away from there without being burned. Okay, but if we... No, I think you are burning. You are burning already. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Heal will take care of that, but you do have to move. Okay, so it's probably... But you can't heal yourself until the burning is gone. Okay, so we probably need to hunger down to take care of the burning and then... Uh, okay, so you are out of the... Out of the equation in taking the enemies out. Holy crap, okay, that's the Holy Warrior. That's a lot of faceless. But that, will the Holy Warrior go away when this guy dies? Uh, your options insanity. Does end the turn. That ends the turn. We could try the insanity still. Okay, the insanity kills that guy. Okay, that's actually a good option. So then... Um, we would like to... Okay, we will kill the priest and uh, slash... Okay, we can't kill the faceless alone with you. Uh, do we now have a... Uh, get from above options? We get you somewhere, not really. Or I could kill the priest with you. Still have the flashbang. Just guaranteed kill on the mech. Yeah, that's your shot then. Does get the job done and minus minus three thousand points if we get through like this. I'm I'm okay with this end result. I think I can get away from uh, from the faceless. Like, could you could you potentially just kill this guy? Flashbang would reduce the distance distance that uh, I damage them both. I can, so that means you can move away. You can move away and then. Uh, the rockets but I have removed all possible cover from here and there's still 10 civilians actually it's, it's, oh there's a cover that's hidden in the plane sites so this should kill kill the priest but uh, I think the damage will go to the shield First, hmm. let me actually think about that. But if someone else, do I just ignore the burning and kill this one? I think I do because uh, I think I do because uh, I will I will take damage from the burning, but that will not be further point reduction. I think. So we get rid of you, and then, uh, yeah, I should have actually gone to shoot you. Mm. Uh, right, what we could... Um, does the plate stone trigger on attack from melee range? Okay, so you can actually kill. You can kill the faceless. I I messed up here. I messed up here because um, 
No, but you have a stock. Because I think this trooper will be now... It will be alive now. Seventy-three percent chance to kill it, though. So. And then, okay, yeah, that's that's the better play. Try to try to kill the trooper with you. Seventy-three percent chance. If it misses, then uh, we would have a trooper doing one shot on us, but that's fine. And then the insanity kills the priest. Okay, it's only eighty percent. Ooh. Okay, that's the. Okay, gas grenade. This is a, this is a guaranteed. Uh, cover actually doesn't matter after this run, right? I'm afraid if I go there, I can't somehow throw around the corner. So I will I will just go in your face, in your face, and kill the. I'll just kill the, the priest with the gas. And does that remove? Oh, it dies! Oh, that's how the Holy Warrior works. <laughs> okay. Is there still an active enemy, or do we just have a faceless here somewhere? Okay, well that was uh, that was that was exciting. Somehow, somehow survived. That's the next turn we can heal up. So I guess I'm just reloading and overwatching here. There might be an enemy somewhere that I don't see. I'm not sure. That was crazy. These people had a choice. They could have kept running. They didn't have to stop here. Didn't have to make a stand. But for whatever reason, I guess they had finally had enough. They knew what was coming, and they stood and faced it down right up until the end. I thought you can't use the Kremlin when you are burning. What's you good? Ah. Uh... Oh, equipped medikits have two extra charges, but we don't have that. I was like, wait a minute, why do I only have one charge? That's why. Rolling out. Hey, we rescued one civilian. <laughs> what a crazy mission. What a crazy but awesome mission. Just insane. What the hell? Head in there now. Ready to go. Preparada. I'm trusting you here. Let's rock. Maybe there's an enemy somewhere. Yes, estoy. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Oh, there's still an enemy group there. Oh, we were missing a we were missing a sector port from this party. Hello. <laughs> okay, that would have been pretty. That would have been too much in the first turn. Oh come on, sector port! How can you kill multiple enemies per turn? Oh crap. If a bunch of civilians were willing to stand up to Advent knowing they didn't have a chance in hell, what would history have said about us if we had turned and run away? Uh, None of us had any intention of leaving that was the place sector port, like standing in like here? They had done. But that means we should see them. Okay, this will reveal, this will reveal uh, facelesses as well, but also their location, so I can plan a little bit better. Because we want we want Overwatch start on those guys, of course. I guess that'll be okay. Is there a window there that's uh, 
no, they, uh, they are too far from us. Okay, I think I, like, spreading like that is actually alright. The blade storm might come into action, other civilians here that you could save. There's only eight civilians left, which means the sectorbot will kill. T oh shit! We might still fail this objective here. Fucking hell! If we don't activate on the next turn, and they might, m if they don't move. Oh crap! Yeah, but I don't necessarily want to activate them right now either. <laughs> Ah, this is bad. This is really bad. I think if I grapple... If I grapple, that will get me in a position. Maybe if they move inside, they would see you if you are there. Oh man, I want if we might fail this mission if they don't see us. But uh, I don't want to activate them right now. This is bad. Come get Got it covered. Got it covered. Please spot us. Okay, that's, I think that's good. Yeah, okay, good, good. Because they will, they will focus on us after this. Shoot them. Oh, nice shots on the sector board. At least we are targeting the sector board with all the Overwatch. That's good. Uh, one mech on the top floor. We didn't know it at the time, but I suppose this whole situation is even sadder when you consider most of these enemies okay. pawns in the Elder's game. Not that I feel bad for him, but do you think the Elders care how many of these things we killed? Okay, one one mech upstairs. Can uh, can we somehow reach that with uh, some sort of... And did it go on Overwatch? I have no idea. Okay, this is actually not a bad move. But I think it will get me to the, the mech that went upstairs. If not, I still have a... Uh, yeah. And uh, that will give me an option to even uh, go and uh, hit it with a blade storm and then possibly finish it from there. Or this explosion might destroy the buildings in a in a way. Uh, I think my plane would be chain shot, but what are the odds? 69. Uh, you still have the rocket launcher, which would be. Removing that one last piece of armor. Shield bearer there, that's not that big of a deal. We have stasis as well. Uh, who can you see? Okay, so you could stasis the commander and then... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, we do have EMP. That's probably not the play. If we can aid protocol. Yeah, I think uh, I think Bradford takes care of this mech with uh, with a slash and then uh, with a blade storm afterwards, right? Yeah. Because if it's hit the plate, attack from melee range, I think. So I think that will trigger the blade storm. If not, Bradford will take a little bit of heat, but we are fine with that. Uh, we should holo targets. Holo target the sector board with you. Rolling. And that's not too close for the too close for the damage. And I moved the wrong guy. Mm. 
I, I wish there was... Well, actually, is there, I, there... There is actually load, but I think it's from the beginning of the turn. I, I'm not gonna do that. It's Iron Man. I I was moving... I was moving him, but I... I don't know. I was... I, I looked at the bottom left, and I think I... I looked at this, and it kinda looks similar to the holotype. Well, in my eyes, anyway. Fuck. Okay, one tile, one tile closer okay, to him. We went from 84 to 86, that's good enough for me. Damn it. We missed the... we are losing a lot of damage because I moved the sniper. That's the, that's the biggest thing about that. Uh, actually, the grenade might be my best play here with you because it will damage, damage both of these guys if I... Or remove the cover and possibly kill the sector board, and then the explosion will. Uh, it has a chance to kill. You have this on the back there, which can kill. I can kill that guy, so that might be my play there. Yeah, I think I like this cover for you. Yeah, that's probably the play there. Uh, so then I don't need to stasis anyone necessarily. Not the only one I can soul fire, so then that would be a kill. I can stasis someone, but I don't need to do that. You see that guy and that guy. I think that's actually your your shot there and just kill it. And uh, let's aid protocol. Uh, aid protocol um, Bradford just in case. I somehow now. Like basically if the mech can shoot. If the mech can do a shoot from melee range and that doesn't trigger the attack. That's, that's the what I'm scared about. Okay, and this wall stays. Okay. Yeah, if we could have even had like a grapple, grapple here and do a yet. I completely missed a whole lot of damage by accidentally moving the sniper because I think there was. Uh, I think there was a spider suit grapple, uh, dead from above. Chances there. And then we have. Oh, there's only you guys left. Okay, so do we have. Uh, Right, well, I guess it is the grenade for you, then. Get a guaranteed kill. And then uh, you move. Okay, now you see that guy. Okay, we could also stasis. Now, do we need to? No, we grenade this guy, guaranteed kill. And then uh, soul fire that one, and uh, mech dies to the. Make dice the blade. You are vulnerable. Check it before you get too close. Okay. This was a fun mission. Really tough beginning, <laughs> like uh, things things went sideways fast. We cleared the police station and moved on as quickly as we could. There was nothing left of this town to save anymore. Twenty-two enemies. Yeah, we got three wounded, and I. I think I was uh, like if um, I could have lost with the positioning 
positioning I had, I could have lost the specialists. Because the mech missed and the trooper missed. Flanking shots. And uh, But yeah, the whole, whole beginning was uh, just a huge mess. Yeah, I think that's a uh, good enough photo for that mess as well. But yeah, we got through it. No one died. Decent points. I am no okay. Ooh, this is an... This is an interesting option. I think I will take the combat sims. Giving me a little bit more points. But... Uh, No, but we get we get better explosives with war suits. I think it's I think it's better. And the raid suits give me options to go through walls. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going with going with this. Uh, Yeah, let's go with the uh, raid suit and war suits because uh, I will get better, better weapons from the war suits. Okay, for the last missions that we are heading to, we have Untouchable, we have a Vigilant, Steady Hands there as well, Game of Bullets and Salvo, which is great because we can grenade and do something else, and we got Blaster Launchers and both, and you got Shredstone, that's beautiful. Yeah, that helps a lot. And uh, inspire stasis field and fuse. Excellence. Excellent, excellent. Alright, but we also got really close to the silver, and uh, there was a lot of points in this one, so uh, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the cold is possible. It's just a little bit worried that it's so close to the max there. But I will be like 218,500 18, or something like that in the end, but let's see. Uh, I still have two missions to go, and uh, if I actually hit gold here on the blind playthrough, I will be super happy, but uh, I'm already just enjoying this, so uh, if the score doesn't go all the way, then the score doesn't go all the way. But I thank you for watching this one. This was a literal blast, this mission on the <laughs> Blast from the Past operation, and uh, I will see you next time for the mission number six on this operation. Until then, take care, bye-bye.